It's been over three years since implementing the first CTOS station and one year of citywide operations. When planning for CTOS, Bloom insisted its innovative network would save Chicagoans over $800 per household. Well, after a full year of operation, the numbers are in. Over the past 12 months, Chicago households have saved an average of $350. Bloom points out that while less than half the original estimate, this still reflects a savings for all families thanks to CTOS. Okay, I'm at the Willis Tower. What do you got on Helena? Looking through her status updates. She likes selfies. Here she is making a duck face, a spiral face. She loves her cats too. Why are you targeting this clueless girl? I'm not. I need to find her uncle fast and Helena's gonna point the way. Okay, here's something. She posted a pic this morning. Her outfit for the day. Dark hair and glasses. And she's showing off a green backpack. Thank you, social media. That's a start. I'll keep digging. What's that? I've got her medical records. Abortion last year. That might explain the therapist she's seeing. Why are we prying this deep? I don't need a history, Clara. I need a location. Hey, I start the search and information just comes in. I don't control the content. Hold on. Perfect. She just posted a status update. She's inside Connelly Square. It's a glass structure. Should be right near you. I got it. Nice work, Clara. Now delete those files. I'm dead sick, Aiden. We believe information should be free. Clara. Relax. We don't pick on innocent girls. Right now that we're losing our minds? That's it, right? That's, that's what's happening right now? Well, I'll tell you what I'm holding out for. Little nanobots floating around my system, translating all those Ms. Tucci, I'm Dr. Hyatt with the Chicago General Hospital. We received your Uncle Angelo's blood work, but you're the only number he gave us. Do you know where we can reach him? It's urgent. No, sorry. I haven't heard from my uncle in years. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Wait for it. You're kind of creepy. Yeah. Hey, Uncle Angie. Elena, you need concert tickets again? No, listen, I got a weird call. I think the cops are looking for you. What? Damn it, you calling me just gave them a trace. Hang up now. Gotcha. Where are you, Angelo Tucci? There you are. Angelo Tucci. This guy's leading the prison transfer for my witness. Somebody's paying Tucci for the vigilante's identity. Somebody wants my name. Well, good luck with that. I'm uh, getting a little nervous here, Pierce. You find him? I'm tracking his GPS. Cut him off before he reaches the prison. Nice.
hear it. Okay, so it sounds like you've made a few enemies. Well, maybe more than a few. Expect some bad hey, shit hit. Hey! We way. need some extra bodies here! <laughs> On it! Angela Tucci. This guy's leading the prison transfer for my witness. Somebody's paying Tucci for the vigilante's identity. That's my name. Good luck with that. I'm uh, getting a little nervous here, Pierce. Do you find him? I'm tracking his GPS. Cut him off before he reaches the prison. Nice.
I lost them. You still have contacts in the prison? I already asked if they could make our guys slip in the shower. They're dirty, but they're not that dirty. I'm gonna get arrested. Of course you are. Why the hell are you doing that? This witness we're after? He's a nobody. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He wasn't looking for me. I don't want to kill him. I just want him to understand I can reach him anywhere, anytime. That is a terrible plan. I love it. I'll find a map of the joint, talk you through it once you're inside. Anything you need? My phone? Jesus, you have a problem. You need to unplug. Jordy, I need my phone. They'll confiscate it the second I'm in. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I got just a guy. He's begging to settle his debt. Get your phone. 